Hey everyone, Brandon and Brandon back again at the Kabuki Strength Lab and today we're going to be talking squat fixes. The fix that we're going to try to improve today is hips rising too quickly from the bottom of the squat. Uh, it's a very common fault and it's one that causes individuals to dump forward in their torso um, and lose position and really have a hard time overcoming that loss of position about two thirds of the way up in the squat. Now, there's many things that are going to cause this, but we're gonna take one specific avenue into fixing it today, but there are probably other things that you should be addressing, such as how well your feet are connected to the ground, how well your adductors are stabilizing your hip position, and how well your trunk is bracing itself. So the fix that we're going to be doing today is to bias your knee extensors in your squat or your quads, the main things that are going to get you through that two-thirds sticking point to help overcome the over-dominance of your hip extensors trying to uh, finish the movement. So this is going to be the knee extension bias squat. Brandon, let's get you into it. You'll see that we have two reasonably heavy bands uh, set up on the back uh, stands of this squat rack. Uh, now they should be uh, enough tension to make it challenging but not too much tension that you struggle to walk out with it. We're going to put one band behind each knee of Brandon here and he's going to walk it out to about as far as he can within his level of comfortability. Now because the bands are pulling Brandon forward, when he actually reverses out of the squat, his knee extensors are going to have to work a little bit more than they otherwise would in his normal squat pattern. This in essence is hopefully going to balance out his actual hip extensors from raising too quickly in the squat and allow his knee extensors to play a greater role in the squat. Now this isn't only to help improve your squat pattern, but this is a very common exercise that we'll give to our athletes in a belt squat or sometimes even a leg press with bands hanging from the top of the leg press to help them get more out of their quads in the squat. It's a very simple drill and it's one that we can use to really target those knee extensor musculature that are, uh, I wouldn't say neglected, but they can sometimes mean neglected in a squat pattern. Go ahead and re-rack it, Brandon. So when you guys are choosing to do this drill and attack that uh, fault of hips raising too quickly from the squat, uh, we one need to look at using the quads a little bit more, but then we need to look at why did those hips do that in the first place? It's probably not because your quads are just super weak. It could be because of that, but chances are you're rolling your feet to the outsides of your shoes. You're not bracing your trunk properly, so you're doing some extension stuff or some flexion stuff, and that's causing changes to happen in downstream musculature. So there could be other things contributing to it, but this is a very quick and dirty way to repattern your squat and get more out of your actual knee extensors. Anything you'd like to add, Coach Brandon? Uh, keep in mind, even, even with this lighter weight, I felt the additional quad engagement. So if you do not feel it, you're likely not using a heavy enough band or not going back far enough. Beautiful. Brandon and Brandon out.